What's up guys, AD here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And in today's video, everyone, we are going to be analyzing the newest five star wood type supporter in Captain Elysian. Now, before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video, as well as make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so already, as well as make sure to check out channel memberships down below if you're interested in supporting the channel further. But with all of that out of the way, in today's video, like I mentioned, we are going to be analyzing the newest wood type supporter and Captain Elysian. This unit is honestly just so amazing for the Ragnar Break side of Destiny Child Global and it does seem to be a staple unit for the wood type Ragnar Break teams for future events to come. Now before we get started in breaking down her kits, as for the quick answer here, this unit is definitely worth investing into for the Ragnar Break raid side of Destiny Child. She is very strong on the wood type team considering she does have double edged sword in her skill set as well as battle cry on her drive skill and most importantly the cooldown reduction from her leader buff as well as the cooldown reset on the tap skill so a very amazing unit i would definitely suggest you all to summon up at least the base copy of her as well as if you're a late game player consider igniting this unit as she will be very strong for the current and future water type ragna breaks now with the quick answer out of the way let's check out the skill preview of captain elysian we do have the skill set on screen here for the rank one stats as for the tap skill here set sail dealing 401 damage in raids a 60% chance to end cooldown for two allies on cooldown as for the slide skill here deal 725 damage to two enemies lowest hp grants skill cooldown minus two seconds to three wood type allies highest attack for 16 seconds long and grants 62% double edged sword attack up and defense down to one wood type ally priority highest attack for 16 seconds as for the drive skill here onward to freedom dealing 1928 damage to three random enemies an 80 percent chance to end cooldown for five allies on cooldown in raids a grant a battle cry attack plus 55 percent stacked up to three times to one wood type ally highest attack for two turns as for the leader buff here grant skill gauge charge amounts plus 20 percent for wood type allies in raids a grant skill cooldown minus two seconds to wood type allies so a very amazing skill set here for the new Elysian. She is very strong in the fact that she does have a ton of cooldown reduction from the leader buff as well as the cooldown reset here on the tap skill and drive skill, which does make her very strong alongside a massive wood type attacker such as Polar Pepita. As for the slide skill here, she of course does have double edged sword, which is a very strong skill as it does increase the attack and of course decrease the defense drastically for the wood type attacker of yours for 16 seconds long here at the rank one stats she also does have battle cry here on her drive skill which does increase the attack by 55 percent stacked up to three times to one wood type ally for two turns so very amazing drive skill here and the fact that that's a battle cry can stack and of course she does have an 80 percent chance to end cooldown for all of your allies as for the leader buff here she does have skill gauge charge amounts plus 20 percent for wood type allies and in raids like mentioned already the cooldown reduction by two seconds to wood type allies so over Overall, a very strong skill set here. She does buff the attack a ton to your attacker units, as well as reducing the cooldown by so much on the leader buff, as well as the chance to reset on the tap and drive skill. So definitely an amazing skill set here. Even at rank one stats, you'll definitely want to pick up this character if you haven't yet done so already. And moving on to her plus six skill set, let's check out the scaling here on the rank seven level 10 out of 10 stats. As for the tap skill here, as you can see, the the percentage does scale to an 85% chance to end cooldown considering the 60% chance to end cooldown on the rank one stats so an increase here at the plus six stats of course expected due to a plus six uncap as for the slide skill here we have the double edged sword scaling to 135.7% which is honestly so massive for the Ragnar Break side of the game. You could compare this unit a bit to Rosanna as most players did expect Rosanna to be used in the Ragnar Break side for the wood type team, but Elysian did drop and they altered her skill set a bit compared to the Japan version. And she does happen to have double edged sword here on the slide skill, which essentially outclassed Rosanna for the raid side of the game. Now, not to knock Rosanna at all. She is still very strong for world boss, 
but they did put her in her place and she is sticking towards the world boss trial side of the game as Elysian will be the better option for the water type Ragnarok raids. So very amazing scaling here on the tap and slide here at the plus six stats. So let's check out the ignited skill set and see the scaling to the skills here. As for the tap skill, as you can see, we do have a 90% chance to end cooldown for three allies on cooldown on the tap skill now after being fully ignited. As for the slide skill here, we do have the scaling to the grant skill cooldown minus two seconds to three wood type allies for two turns now. And now granting a 160.7% double edge sword to one wood type ally for two turns. So huge scaling here compared to the base uncapped to plus six and to ignited status. If you do happen to have her at plus six fully ignited, she does scale to 160.7% double edged sword here on the slide skill, which is massive for Pepita and really any wood type attacker. And this does happen to last for two turns now. As for the drive skill here, we do have an 80% chance to end the cooldown still for your five allies on the cooldown. And in raids, we have Battle Cry plus 55% here, stacked up to three times to one wood type ally. But now this does last for three turns. As for the leader buff, it does go unchanged, but they don't need to alter it at all as it's very amazing. So an insane unit here definitely does scale very well. She's versatile in the fact that she does provide additional attack here in the skill set, as well as the cooldown reduction and the cooldown reset here on the tap and drive skills. So a very strong wood type supporter character i would definitely recommend you all to summon for this unit if you haven't yet done so already at least summon for the base copy from her 15 out of 15 guaranteed upon summoning banner as for uncaps she definitely does scale very well so if you guys would like to aim for elysian uncaps right now would be the best time to do so as her mission pass is active as well as her solo banner should still be up so that'll pretty much do it for the skill overview here of the newest wood type supporter in captain elysian as for my final thoughts on this unit here, of course, like I've said already, she is very strong for the water type Ragnar break events here on Destiny Child Global. Definitely make sure to pick up this unit if you do happen to have some crystals to spare. And of course, investing into her would be a great option as right now would be the best time to ignite her as she is one of the new characters and you'll receive some resources in return for doing so. As for my ratings of this unit, I wouldn't use her at all in PvE such as story, etc. In PvE, PvP, I don't think she'll be used unless she is on a strict mono type wood team, but definitely for Ragnar Break, she is a 10 out of 10 must use for the water type raids. And for World Boss, you won't be seeing her too often as her skill set is pretty much tied to the Ragnar Break. But anyways, everyone, that'll pretty much do it for today's Destiny Child overview here of the new wood type supporter in Captain Elysian. Make sure to let me know if you guys did enjoy today's video and would like to see more unit overviews here on the channel. But but also make sure to leave a like on this video as well as make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so already and are enjoying the Destiny Child content as well as make sure to check out channel memberships down below as well if you're interested in supporting the channel further and would like to receive some exclusive perks here on the channel. But with all of that being said, I'll catch you all in the next Destiny Child video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.